Okay, so first off, I'm having like major allergy problems right now, so bear with me. With okay, so here are the main things that I used. I used a Naked 2 palette, this right here. Um, I used these Vegas Nay Grand Glamour lashes, and um, this is my sister's old <laughs> glitter from when she used to be a cheerleader, so this is, and this is like our ongoing joke. This thing is called Dish Towel. Uh, let me focus it in. Yeah, dish towel. I don't know why anyone would ever want to sell something that goes on your face to make you look pretty and name it something like dish towel. But, um, ofecosmetics.com. And the last thing you really need is like an angled eyeliner brush. As you can see, I still have red from last time because I haven't washed it. Uh, other things you're going to need is to whatever you normally use to do your eyebrows if you do them and then a foundation I just like a foundation as a base underneath um, I also use just a plain mascara just a coat nothing expensive so this isn't normally what I use to do my eyebrows this is the um, Anastasia powder in ash brown I believe yep this is very difficult doing my eyebrows in this itty bitty little mirror this is not a good decision These are so bad, I could freaking care less right now what I look like. I'm so grumpy and grouchy. This is in my brow whiz comb to try to blend this sucker out. Ugh. Very crucial thing I failed to mention about doing your makeup always at any time, actually when you're doing anything in life ever, is coffee. It's essential always have it on you so when I first did this look I was trying to think of like what to do to make it seem angelly instead of just like <laughs> demony I guess um, but I didn't have like the cool big black wings that a lot of people use and I wasn't about to go <laughs> spend what very little money I actually have on big costumes and props especially around Halloween time I'm sure prices skyrocket so then I was trying to think about like how I could create wings like on my face but then I thought it looked really cheesy and tacky having like wings like that or having like black swan looking wings plus that's not original so this is what I came up with one thing I will be changing from the original photo is that I used um, these little Ben Nye color wheel type things. And I'm not going to be using that this time. They okay, use the black and I have another one that has a bright red in it. I will be using the red for the waterline and such as and as a base on my lips but you can just use like a red lipstick for that. The reason I'm not going to be using this is because I really wanted you know like a red crease and a really really pitch black lid um, and my eyeshadow wasn't pitch black enough for me but then I had a huge issue no matter how many times I said it with no matter what powder it was still creasing like crazy so I'm not gonna do that this time so that's gonna be kind of experimental in a way right now so my sister got me this stuff this L'Oreal infallible stuff so she originally bought it for herself but it was way too dark but she got it because there's so much hype all over YouTube and Instagram about this stuff and I do not understand why this is literally the worst foundation I've ever used in my life because it does not blend at all. As you can see, I always start like putting dots like that and then these dots become like impossible to blend out. So I decided to use streaks or just put it directly on my brush or beauty blender, whatever, and it's awful. But yeah, I like have to use an oil on my beauty blender and even still, it's so hard to blend out and I end up wasting like 10 minutes of my time trying to just get all this splotchiness out. So don't listen to the hype is the moral of the story. Just don't, this stuff is not good. But yeah, since this is just going under a bunch of grungy, gross makeup, that's why I am gonna use it. So I'm not gonna use my good foundation. Ain't nobody got the time or the money for that, especially when you just graduated college like me and you're still broke and trying to figure out what you're gonna do with your life. <laughs> I'm not existential about it at all. Obviously, I'm not going to worry about any kind of contour or concealer since black eyeshadow will be going all over my eyes and cheeks. I'm going to be using 
the black here on this Naked 2 palette, you can use a, black, a matte black. Matte black, that's important. And not matte with glitter in it. Well, I mean, you can. There's lots of glitter in this look. But, <clears throat> so, I'm just using my finger and the reason is is because I want it to look grungy and so I'm not going to use a brush that's going to blend it. Your fingers make your eyeshadow like super unblended and splotchy and that's exactly what I want for this. Um, that's going to become extremely important too when you start like dragging and making that like feathery wing look because it'll add dimension to it and just rubbing it in like that. Get a bunch of black and just packing it on the lid and I'm dabbing it like this so that way it gets that really unblended um, texture. I really like this um, naked palette one because it's very pigmented. And then I'm using a, a clean finger just to kind of smoke out the edges so you get that really cool grungy, smoky eye, whatever you want to call it. So you can see how patchy and unblended it is because that's the kind of look you want to go for. Same thing with the finger, but just all underneath, creating that like total raccoon eye, like from back when you were in middle school. Well, <laughs> for me at least, I made poor makeup choices. Okay, now that you successfully look like you got punched in both eyes, I'm taking the excess just to kind of drag it along the top of my nose clean finger just to kind of blend it out because I don't want it to be as harsh as my eyes. I'm also gonna swirl it here for a little bit of contour because I have like a massive forehead. I can't not try to contour this out. Okay, so I'm gonna use the excess on my finger to lightly sketch the shape of the wings. Kinda look like that, yeah? Maybe, who knows. Um, here's what I was talking about earlier with playing around. So I'm gonna get quite a lot on my finger. That's like pitch black. You see that's ridiculous. So I'm gonna start pressing it down and then just drag. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all over to get that feathery texture. And um, what I mean also is like on one of them you might press medium hard. The next one you'll press really hard, the next one will be really light, so that way you get all these different variations of that feathery look. Also what I did was see like how this one is, there's like a clear fingerprint. I went and just slightly blended the top out a little bit. Not enough to blend the color completely in with everything else, but just to get rid of like that harsh like, here's my fingerprint. <laughs> go in and dab black all over just to make sure it really gets in everywhere. In my photo, I had a red crease right here. If you have a red eyeshadow, definitely go for it because I love the way that look. I, I don't have a red eyeshadow. The only thing I have is that Ben Nye thing that unfortunately did not work for this look. So if you have it, do it. dragging it out like I am right now to um, get that like feathery look at the bottom. Of course this is like very <laughs> abstract feathery but you know. I wanted to have like a cool chest piece but I ended up not knowing what to do so um, I contoured like here and the top and the bottom of my collarbone and a little bit on my shoulders right here. Um, and just with this black eyeshadow using the same method, just going like that and smearing it with the finger, but unfortunately, I wanted to think of something really cool to do with the chest piece and I was just uninspired, so I'm not gonna do that. If you go back and look at my photo on Instagram, um, Instagram being Megan Marissa Makeup, if you don't follow me already. Uh, but yeah, if you look at that photo, then I have like all the contour and stuff if my hair's not in the way, but we won't worry about that right now. Um, I forgot to mention you're gonna need a liquid liner. So last time I did like super long, crazy, dramatic wings. If you look for this look, you can never go 
too over the top or too bold. So channel your inner Amy Winehouse. Go for them wings. Do you already have wings on your face? Cause you're an angel anyways. <laughs> I'm so funny. I've been a comedian instead of a makeup artist. Okay, so in real life, I would never ever have eyeliner this thick, but why not? In the photo, this red right here is what I used up in my crease, but, but I'm not doing that now since I have to, or since it all creased up. So this right here is CK for Bruise and Abrasions color wheel. This is from when I did that like special effects makeup class at VCU. Okay, so using the angled eyeliner brush from earlier. Now that we got that red in the inner corner, or not inner corner, um, on the lash line. I'm gonna start creating this like veiny looking stuff by just taking the same brush, same color, and just kind of dragging and just making these weird like vein shapes. Totally everywhere. I'm also making them a little bit long since I will have like the line of glitter underneath. Which red out. I'm just going to go ahead and use this for my lips. I forgot to mention something again. Um, you're going to need to use just like some random crappy brush or whatever. Something you don't mind getting a lot of glitter on. I'm going to use my Naked Palette brush because I never use this thing. Um, so I'm going to be using that for the glitter. Okay, so I'm going to try extremely hard not to get this glitter everywhere. Well, I just failed at not getting, getting glitter everywhere. And I'm gently packing it on. Also, I'm not putting it like literally on the lash line. I'm going a little bit below. That way I don't get it in my eye. It would probably be a better idea for you to go and use glitter glue, but since I never use glitter, I don't actually have any of that. That's why I invest in it. You can layer on as much as you want, obviously, depending on how glitzy you want to go, but I'm going to stop here because, again, good glitter. All right, now the rest is getting packed onto my lips. Use a sticky lipstick, like a creamy one, instead of a liquid lipstick, so that way this glitter sticks to it. I'm gonna have red glitter in my carpet for eternity. Great. All right, so now that that's done, time for the falsies. Okay, so again, I'm using these Vegas Nay lashes that are called Grand Glamour. These are super great lashes for photos and doing stuff like that, you know, where you want like something really dramatic. These are not for all day wear at all. Oh my gosh. Look, before I put glue on, like, look how thick that band is. So incredibly thick. It looks like you're wearing super thick eyeliner when you wear these and when you don't even have any eyeliner on, period. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, it makes it super hard for you to move your eyeballs around. So, like, I literally, when I put these on to take photos, I'm just like, look in one position because I can't move my eyes like that because they're so thick. So, if you're doing this look for, like, a Halloween party or something like that, don't use these lashes. These are. I'm using these since this is what I did in the photo and I want to duplicate to the best of my ability what I did for the photo that everyone's asking for this tutorial of. You know, now that I think about it, it's probably best to do lashes and then put glitter on your lips so that we're not blowing glitter everywhere like I am. I waste so much of my life waiting for eyelash glue to get tacky. So that's all there is to it to this look. My eyelash glue is still slightly wet, so hopefully they don't just like pop off off my eyes or get all slanted while I'm talking to y'all. Huge shout out to the girl who asked me to do this look. You know who you are. I don't want to put your name out there in case you're not comfortable with that. Um, but yeah, thanks. I had a lot of fun getting to do this look and getting to do something that I normally probably would have never decided to do on my own. If you guys do this look, Please go ahead and tag me on Instagram, again, Megan Marissa Makeup. 
um, because I love when you guys tag me and I get to see what you guys do with the looks I put on YouTube and hopefully I'll be a little bit more consistent this time with YouTube. But yeah, if you do any cool Halloween makeup, tag me or, you know, whatever, because I'd love to see that too. Also, um, if you guys do end up doing like a cool chest piece like I would have liked to have done, totally, totally tag me in that too because I would love to see because I was so uninspired and couldn't think of anything cool to do. So if you have a great idea, that'd be awesome to build upon this look. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be planning on getting up and running on YouTube now that I'm a little bit more stable with Instagram and such. So stay tuned for the next stuff that's gonna be coming along. Happy Halloween and thank you so much for watching.